it's been going i think we should have just a little bit of it like i is it too late to have some coffee time and cheese man like i feel like we need some coffee time and cheese man because a lot of it's been going on, on the internet like so much and i was like does this deserve a youtube video and i was like actually no like i i y'all just need an explanation i don't get but nobody else a lot of people, right, on the internet, after my makeup and opinion video, I had a lot of opinions about my opinion. Whereas I'm like, okay, like, you can have an opinion about my opinion, but what you can't tell me is that my opinion is wrong because my opinion is based on facts, right? So when I had an issue with Tati's video is when she was talking about me being complicit in predatory behavior. And I was like, excuse me? What? Predatory? What? Predatory? Who? You could have created that video and literally, no, 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 She created this video and I'm like, what we're not going to do is literally say that I'm complicit in a situation that you are excluding information from. Oh no, because the Seattle situation, I can completely debunk because she said I was in that kitchen. Okay. I was in that kitchen and she's excluding certain information that was said in that kitchen. So I find it really fascinating. And I'm like, oh no, just don't lie on me. You can say whatever you want to, but don't lie on me. That's, you shouldn't. Okay, so when I watched PewDiePie's video, I was like, okay, I'm not crazy. This doesn't fucking make sense, right? Like, this doesn't make sense. And I'm like, okay, I'm not crazy. Like, someone logical, right, that I look up to because I watch his content and I'm like, I like his perspective. He can understand multiple perspectives and he can kind of remove himself from the situation and put all emotions aside to really see the situation for what it is because he's been in scandals himself he understands when something's right when something's wrong and the situation is like i don't understand please watch pewdiepie's video i'm gonna touch on some things but the main part that i want to speak on is this whole sexual allegation because i feel like everyone's running with this this predatory behavior type of situation and i'm being drawn into it because she's like gabriel zamora you were there and the fact that you're not doing anything about this you're complicit i'm co in what? Excuse me? There's certain information you're leaving out. So let's play it. At 24 minutes, goddamn, a whole fucking 43 minute ad bashing someone. At 24, okay, so at 24 minutes, she says the following. Enough. The last phone conversation that James Charles and I had, he said some things telling me about a situation that happened in Seattle on my birthday, and it literally made me want to vomit. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again, and somehow you're the victim. You know, it's really disgusting to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood and don't quite have everything figured out. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. You're threatening to ruin them. You're threatening to embarrass them. And you're doing that to have them behave sexually in your favor, even if they're straight. And you know what? That's not okay. That behavior is not okay. Whether you're a woman, a man, gay, straight, bi, whatever sexual orientation you are, that is your personal call and it is not someone else's to take it's not someone else's oh to play God. with it's, it's not someone else's to mess it? with what and happened you laugh about it and make meme after meme and read what and happened boys, i love straight boys and make it a joke because this behavior is not normal it's not okay cracking someone's oh sexuality God. is not an escape room this is shit that will follow them for the rest of their lives and you need someone to tell you to stop it and that's them for the rest of their it's lives long. and it's you a need long someone around. to tell you to stop it and that's exactly what i did in your kitchen in front of gabriel zamora in the kitchen so, I'm really shocked I it was Gabriel, on the phone. you really don't care about this at oh, all wait, what? in front of Gabriel Zamora. So I'm really shocked, Gabriel, that you really don't care about this at all in what is happening. You were totally complicit with the situation, obviously, with the video that you made. All right, I'm pissed. I you're pissed? Okay, so what you're missing in the story. I was in, I was in the kitchen. But the part, the part that she's missing out in this situation is, first off, she's trying to... The straight boy thing, let's... That's a different one. Let's first talk about the Seattle boy, right, that she brings up. You try to trick a straight guy. She was there. That Seattle boy, she knew exactly who it was. The Seattle boy then goes into James's DM. Like, I was there. James was telling us this exact story in person. Homeboy slid into James's DMs. Homeboy was like, I'm down to cuddle. Like, cool. He was bi-curious. Like, all, apparently everyone was bi-curious. He wanted to come up. He cuddled with James. Like, why aren't you stating like, why is she saying all that? She's talking about, you really came at Mr. Keep It 100 with 60% of, of the story? I, I was in the kitchen. James was literally telling us what went down. Basically, homeboy came up, they cuddled. He was a fan. Like, no shade. Like, no shade. Like, like nothing bad. Like, please don't out this boy. Please don't out this boy. Because later he was like, oh, I'm actually not by curious. I just, like, they were still messaging after. Where is the predatory 
behavior because I can already debunk it, sweetheart. She's like trying to trick a straight guy yet again. What other straight guy? What other straight guy? Just because he's flirting with guys. James hasn't hired someone and been like, you have to sleep with me. No, these are guys. These are DMs. Like there's so many tweets out there. They're like, guys are the ones sliding into James's DMs. And for some reason, because James is flirting, he's a predator. What? What, Tati? <gasps> Tati, no. <gasps> the story doesn't make sense because... The last phone conversation that oh. James Charles and I had, he said some things telling me about a situation that happened in Seattle on my birthday. Seattle. And birthday. it literally...